I may not be very popular. You may be afraid of me. I'm known for attacking things with my razor sharp teeth. I do not have any bones. I am made of cartilage. I guess if you met me, it wouldn't be a privilege. For I'm the great white shark with lots and lots of teeth. I'm good at hearing, good at sensing, good at finding things. I swiftly swim to find my prey. Then I will attack for friendly manners. Here's the one thing I admit I lack. I swim along the shoreline and I find so many fish and seals and squids and sea lions all make a tasty dish. I know you do not realize that I keep the ocean clean. I eat the dead and dying fish. They make a great cuisine. For I'm the great white shark with lots and lots of teeth. I'm good at hearing, good at sensing, good at finding things. I swiftly swim to find my prey. Then I will attack. Sharks are born in quite an unusual way. For the eggs I keep inside myself until they hatch one day, and then the babies are born live and ready for some food. I don't need to help for their own food they will pursue. For I'm the great white shark with lots and lots of teeth. Remember, there are plenty of good things about me. I'm used for cancer research, and I keep the waters clean by eating all the dead and dying fish. A great cuisine. I see the brilliant ocean. I smell the gentle breeze. I'm looking for adventure, so I gather all my things. I think I'll take a fish net, a bucket, and some tools. For off I go collecting, so I'll wear old tennis shoes. Adventures by the ocean with crabs and fish and snails. I search for little creatures. Who knows what I'll unveil? I use a magnifying glass to see in great detail. Each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail. A shovel will be needed and a smaller net to find. The crabs that will be hiding close by the ocean tide. I'll bring a plastic jar to gather water and small plants. I'll take it home to look under my microscope's clear glass. Adventures by the ocean with crabs and fish and snails. I search for little creatures. Who knows what I'll unveil? I use a magnifying glass to see in great detail each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail. Each creature that I gently scoop and put inside my pail.
hatch after about 10 weeks. They seem to instinctively know to race across the land toward the ocean. They usually hatch at night so they won't be eaten by predators. Until they hatch on me, they do rely. 
And then it's time for me to go And so I say goodbye Shy octopus That really is so true I change colors Depending on my mood And if I sense real danger Tool. I spray an ink like liquid for the enemy I'll fool. to provide food and oxygen for it to live. Actually, 
like a filter. Through holes called pores, the water is pumped into the sponge leaving behind tiny plants, animals, and oxygen that the sponge needs to survive.
them swimming on their backs. Their whiskers look so sweet. There's mother and there's baby, and they're looking for a treat. They swim among the beds of kelp, found close to the shore, and search for clams and sea urchins. For these they do adore. Friendly sea otter, won't you come and play with me? Let's swim and dive and explore in the shallow sea. I'll brush your fur and stroke your head. Will you be my friend? Friendly sea otter, won't you come and play with me? A sea otter paddles with her webbed hind feet, grooming her thick fur and keeping it neat. So air will trap inside the fur to keep her nice and dry. She likes to stay warm, so on her fur she will. Your fur and stroke your head. Will you be my friend? Friendly sea otter, won't you come and play with me? Some grow as long as 100 feet when they are full grown And most are said to weigh more than the biggest dinosaurs So they confidently swim around for they have you predators Blue whale, blue whale swimming in the sea Catching all the little krill with your special baleen Spend their lives at sea They come to the surface For whales need air to breathe Shrimp-like creatures known as krill This whale likes to eat For blue whales have baleen Because they don't have any teeth Blue whales are baleen whales This means they do not have any teeth With which to eat They have something called baleen On both sides of their upper jaw Baleen acts like a strainer Whales will suck water and krill into their mouths, shut their mouths, and then push the water out with their tongues. Then the whales will eat the krill. When a little calf is born, you won't believe its size. Weighing over five tons, this newborn's quite a prize. Depending on the mother for milk and nourishment, the calf will gain 200 pounds each day, a wonderment. Blue whale, blue Swimming in the sea Catching all the little krill With your special baleen Blue whale, blue whale You eat tons each day For you need to feed your little calf Before you two can play Thank you. 
vacation in the summertime, we usually go to the beach. I really like to go scuba diving and look at life underneath the ocean. I think I want to be a marine biologist when I grow up. Besides studying whales, dolphins, or the great white shark, I want to discover new medicines to treat human diseases. I also want to help the endangered animals of the ocean, like the gentle manatee and the large sea turtles.